Yo, what's good, YouTube? We back at it again with another video for you guys. And as you can see, today is a different type of video we got going on. Today, I got a VC method for y'all. Now, as y'all can see in the background right now, I am loading my character. You know what I'm saying? We about to make a new character. This is the this is, this is the best VC method for um 2K19 as of the moment in my opinion like i i use this method and i got like tons of vc at least i got like thirty thousand vc off of this method bro so check it out first thing you want to do is make a new character all right so as you can see in the background that's basically what i'm doing right now I'm making a new character now in when i made my character i made him a center i wouldn't recommend that he should probably be a small forward or uh, point guard, because those are the two positions where you were like, or at least likely to start when you choose like your teams at the bottom. All right, so you'll see, you you'll understand when you we go further into the video. But yeah, um, yeah, basically what I was saying, yeah, yeah. So we look, we gonna skip straight to you know what I'm saying. Look, boom. Now we over here in the video, and they asking us what we trying to do. We going straight to the NBA, right? So once we say that we want to go straight to the NBA, you feel me? This is what you got to do. You are going to go to the lowest team on your free agency, right, bro? Now, at a period of time, you was able to do this with zero minutes per quarter. Now, I wasn't able to do it at the time, but it looked like people was getting banned for it anyway. But basically, you want to make it to where they sign you for at least one minute, and you want to increase the VC you get for each game, right, bro? So basically, you just increasing it what you get for each game, right? So boom, I said I wanted seven twenty five. You probably could pull a little bit more VC, but that's what I said I wanted because I was just doing it for the video. Now, as you see, we skip a little bit more for we about to go into the game. Basically, where I'm just gonna be showing you how you just go, how you go into the game, and how it only takes a short period of time until you know what I'm saying you able to get your quick VC. Now, I wouldn't say that the first two or three games that you play, you're going to get an endorsement deal from doing this, right? And the endorsement deal is going to give you a 1,000 VC off rip, right? Because it's a beginner's endorsement deal. So you're going to get that uh, VC too also. You want to keep doing this method all the way until, um, I want to say... Oh yeah, until you um you no you no longer play for one minute once you reach the goal. When you're doing this method, you might as well have something to do in the background, bro. Cause you know what I'm saying. Basically, all you gotta do is stand still, cause that's the only way you're gonna get the least amount of PT. You feel me? I like. Right. So once you do that, you know, you just got the least amount of PT, my guy. But um. Yeah, I'm just standing there right now. Yeah, and then boom, the buzzer. You want to play in the game for about 20 to 30 seconds. Once you play for about 20 to 30 seconds, you can stop doing whatever you're doing. And then you could just uh file somebody, call a timeout, do whatever. And then they'll bring you to like third, fourth quarter, and then you can send the game, right? So that's what I do every game pretty much. Because it's usually a blog. You usually don't have a blog because you're most likely going to be playing for like Lakers or Warriors or something when you choose a small four to guard. This is currently the best method in the game for VC, my guy. Because you are getting tons of VC for this, you know what I'm saying? But you, it does take a little time, but you know what I'm saying? It's worth it because, you know what I'm saying? You're getting, you're getting VC, you feel me? So, yeah. And as you can see, we just hit halftime. And then once you hit halftime, you can pretty much just start simming. And then once you sim, you know what I'm saying? That's really going to be that. You get your VC, rinse, repeat. You feel me? It's, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a very simple VC method, my guy. So, look, four quarter, boom. Ask to sim out with VC, bang. Now we out, and look, we get quick VC, about 700 and some, 800 and something, you feel me, every time you do it. Uh, depending on your team, it might get more, I think. Uh, yeah, like I got 881. So that's a lot of VC to me, you feel me, and it's better than just how you normally do things, you feel me. But that's really all to it, to this VC method. So hopefully 
you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I really wanted to say. I'm out. Peace.